awesome ones, Heather here. And you know what? I am setting my sights on losing a little bit of weight and I'm talking around the belly here. I think a lot of you guys know about your, your tummy and I don't know, we just seem to get the weight going here for some reason and I want to make sure that I lose a little bit here and other places too and maybe tone up a little bit. But I'm going to do it without a gym membership, without a personal trainer, and without one of those big, bulky, expensive exercise machines. How am I gonna do that? I'll show you and it all starts in just a few seconds. So I think the best way to lose a few pounds and tone your body and all that sort of thing is just to make sure that you're following a routine that well, you actually want to follow. And also that you're being realistic. Uh, it's so totally unrealistic for me to think of having the body that I had uh, when I was modeling in the 1980s. I think a lot of you know that I was bulimic and it was not a healthy weight. Um, if you are one of those women who really does the bodybuilding and that kind of thing, then I, okay, that's a little different. But I'm talking about the everyday person, the everyday woman who wants to just get a little slimmer and a little bit trimmer. And what I find is the best routine is one that you're going to follow. Um, I know for a fact I'm not going to hang out at the local gym because I know my daughters go there and my son-in-law. I mean, they're all there. They're like 20 year olds and they're playing the big music. and. It's, it's just not my environment anymore. And as far as the big, I mean, they really, really impressed me. Those big exercise machines that are so high tech and they cost thousands of dollars and they're gonna do wonders for you. Well, I also know that those things are a little clunky. Uh, they're not fitting into my downsized home anymore. And it's gonna end up probably being a nice looking clothes hanger for me. So that's not gonna work. I really suggest, and I think a lot of you know that I'm 63 years old and I want to find something that works into my day and into my routine, something that I'm going to do on a consistent basis. And let's start with number one. So here's number one of six tips. Toning these flabby arms of mine. What happened to my arms? Like, okay, I'm gonna try to do a muscle here, but I used to play competitive tennis and I actually developed, I think, Bill, what do you call them, cannons? Like, I, I developed these cannons for arms and over the years, they have just turned like super flabby. I don't like wearing short tops, you know, short sleeve tops anymore. And so what I'm going to do, and I will be showing you what happens maybe six to eight weeks later, but I'm going to start on a routine to get these toned and, and really get a little bit of muscle back into them. And if you're anything like me, you're sitting at a desk most of the day, and I'm going to show you a few routines. Now, you can find routines on the internet, on YouTube, where there's lots of videos where the professionals are showing, but I'm just gonna show you something that I can do every single day, just sitting at my desk. Now, since I'm not really delighted with the fact of going someplace and lifting 100 pound weights with a spotter, <laughs> decided to just have these little weights here and um, I'm using the five pound weights I know a lot of people are saying you know go for a 10 but to me this is this is comfy and I think that that's the important thing you know make it comfortable on yourself and uh, by the way we do have since I got my computer here um, we do have um, an Amazon page now with awesome things that we love and all you have to do with this, I don't know if you can see this, but just go to the Just For Fun Travel Exercise Recreation and we'll have a lot of the things that we have here on the video um, that we're showing and we'll also uh, 
put it in the links below as well. But let's just start with an exercise that's pretty easy. Um, all you do is you just sort of put your two dumbbells out here. I'm going to call them dumbbells or weights or whatever. And you do what it is called of kind of like a water pitcher kind of thing, like pouring a water pitcher and you can really feel the tightening in there and then you pour it out and then you pour it in and then you pour it out. And the nice thing about this is I could be just, you know, looking at some emails or maybe I'm just sort of checking the last video that we loaded and hardly takes any strain, but you can feel you can feel the burn. You can feel the burn. Let's show you one more. All right, for the second one, I'm just gonna show one arm. Obviously, you should be doing two arms or you're gonna be really kind of lopsided. Uh, but for this one, I'm just going to extend. And again, I might be watching one of my videos or checking out some emails or something like that. And uh, so you're putting this up here. Then you're going to extend. This is going to really help your triceps all along here, help you to get rid of some of that flab and move your palm upwards and do a little push up like that and then back again. All right, change the palm, push it up and back again. And uh, if you wanna know how many reps I do of these, well, let me tell you, I don't count because I don't want to be doing that to myself. Maybe it's starting to really hurt or maybe, um, you know what? I'm going to do it as long as I'm reading my emails. So number two is also to help you when you're sitting. Now you saw me in the regular office chair, but just to the side, when I was doing those exercises with the, uh, the little dumbbells there, you'll see that I am sitting on a very, interesting little chair here and um, I'm going to show you some of the things that I can do with this chair in just a second. So let me show you this chair. It's a very special kind of chair. Right now it's in the locked position but all I have to do is put it in the unlocked position and it goes like this and you're like Heather what the heck is that? Well let me show you what this is. This is like a hula hoop. And uh, well, if you're my age, you do remember what the hula hoops were. And check this out. <laughs> it's like doing the hula hoop at your desk. And you can be checking your emails. You can be watching, you know, in my particular case, I'm checking out our videos. How do they look after Bill has edited them? And sometimes they're going on for like 20 minutes. And the thing I like about this is that you hardly even know that you're exercising, but you are getting a little bit of a burn and you can accentuate, you know, how much you're doing or how fast you're doing. You can do it the other way around, but, uh, yeah, you just, it's so easy to use. And uh, by the way, um, all of these products that we have, we're not being sponsored by anybody. I actually have worked on this a little bit with these products, of course, with the weights and everything. And I know that they're good. They're good products. And this is only about a hundred bucks. So um, we have put it in the um, amazon.com slash shop slash awesome over 50 store um, it's it's not really a store they're just links on Amazon you don't pay any extra for the products but um, we've got it there we also it's under fun and exercise we also have it um, as a link underneath and so that uh, you can go ahead and get yourself one of these great little chairs and for, for all the time I'm usually in my office chair but this is so portable it just sits underneath my desk and I grab it when I want to uh, use a lot utilize it so uh, and by the way of course we're required to tell you we make a little bit of commission but you know you guys are fantastic let me know when you get something because it all really really helps us to uh, keep on going so I'm gonna put a few more minutes on with this baby and get my uh, my tummy going here, maybe kind of like I said, really accentuate what I'm doing and uh, starting to feel the burn. So number three still involves sitting at my desk. 
So what am I doing in the kitchen? <laughs> well, I did this video on healthy snacking and I want to talk about snacking because when you're sitting at your desk, a lot of times, you know, your stomach starts grumbling and you're kind of like, okay, it's three o'clock, I gotta eat something. And you don't wanna have bags of chips and all that unhealthy stuff around. So I did a video on healthy snacking. I'm going to put the link up there and you can watch that um, healthy popcorn with maple syrup. And uh, I got a few tips there, but one of my favorite, this is really my favorite go-to snack is these, um, well they call them craisins, but they're really dried cranberries, which are pretty healthy for you. And then I have a mixture and I sometimes buy the cranberries and then I, I buy some kind of a nut, maybe almonds or something along those lines. And I put it in a bowl for when I'm snacking. So I just basically have this at my desk. I have the, the nuts at my desk and I mix them up in a little bowl. The other thing that you can find is you can find them, look at this one I've already used quite a bit, but you can find them already ready made. And so just look for those on the shelves if you don't want to kind of mix them yourself. But um, this is a cashew, cranberry and almond mix. And I'm just going to put it in the bowl for you and maybe Bill can take a little bit of a, a close up. I know cashews, yeah, they might have a little bit of calories in them, but I'll tell you something, this is a great go-to. Um, I maybe only eat about this much, maybe even a little bit less. And at my desk, if you're going to do this little routine that I'm showing you, you gotta get rid of all that junk that you have in your drawer and replace it with a couple of these. So what if you're eating your snacks and you're getting a little bit thirsty? Well, first of all, I have water with me all the time, like beside my bed, I wake up in the morning, I bring my water with me, you know, I refresh it, of course, and all day long, right, Bill? I always have yep. water beside me. I go for a drive in the car, water beside me. So this is, you know, they say you're supposed to drink like eight cups a day, so this is a must, an absolute must. But what about something a little more fun than water, Heather? So. I love tea. I love herbal teas. And one, I, I found this little baby. I think it's the most fantastic thing. It's a little teapot. It's a little teapot. <laughs> and what it does is, just let me just kind of show you what, what I can do here. It has a strainer with it. Or you can buy a strainer if you get it without a strainer. And I just put the tea in here. A little bit of tea, maybe one teaspoon of in this particular case it's like a green tea and then I just sort of fill it up I don't know if you can you probably can't see this but I'm just filling it up to the top here and letting it steep for a few minutes while maybe I'm doing something else in the kitchen um, while that's steeping I also have and again we'll link to these um, a travel tea container and it also has a strainer in it so you can sort of see the strainer in there if I can flip it out but you put the tea bags in there and then they strain through before you drink them so that's another handy little gadget so it doesn't take long to have your tea steeping and it's probably ready right now what I do is I just take it out of here put it in a bowl there and I have a beautiful cup of tea and it is a natural blend. Those were loose leaves that I put in there. And as you can see, I'm just gonna pour my tea here. Now what I love about this, especially at my desk, is I can pour as little tea or as much tea as I want, and it's still staying fairly warm in here in the little teapot. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, it's fun to go to these tea places and, and pick out a tea. I'll also put some online for you, but Green tea is always very, very good for you. And you might explain to somebody, you know, I, I need a little bit of energy. Uh, do you have an herbal tea for that? And just talk to the people. They know what they're doing. Um, just don't buy any that has caramel and chocolate in it. I mean, there's a lot of sweet ones out there too. And certainly, if you want to do these exercises that I'm showing you, do not get the lavender ones because some of these teas will put you to sleep. Okay, so since we're still in the kitchen, <laughs> my number five is doing my version 
of the Elaine dance because I may have something in the oven and it's going to go on for about 30 minutes and you know this music that I have here it's from YouTube so I usually put on something that I really can rock out with and dance with but uh, start busting a move here slowing down <laughs> All right, so if you're doing something like this for a while, you're starting to get that energy level up. You're starting to get your heart beating. Everything's there in the oven, it's still cooking. And when I'm doing this, like sometimes, now make sure you're checking with a doctor or whatever when you do this, but I do some high kicks. You know, <laughs> I know it might sound silly, but uh, I got a good support on my shoes. I'm making sure that I'm uh, well grounded. Do not try this at home if you can't do the kicks, but um, it's called exercise. And it's a weight that you can also put some moves in for your waist. And I promise you, you'll get a sweat and you'll be amazed how much weight you'll lose. But play your favorite song, your favorite rock song, or whatever it is. So number six, I would suggest to get yourself one of these wrist exercise monitors. And uh, mine's a Fitbit. I absolutely love it, but truth be told, I got it a while ago. I'm hardly wearing it lately. What? What happened? Well, it seems to be that, you know, it goes crazy when you do 10,000 steps. So I thought to myself, uh, it does these fireworks come on and it vibrates and you really feel good about it. But I'm not doing 10,000 steps every single day. So I started wearing it just when we were going for long walks or, you know, on a nice sunny day. Forget about that. Let me just show you a few things that this does. So of course it tells you the time, but tap it shows you your steps, tap it again shows approximate heart rate, tap it again and uh, distance you've walked, and also calories burned. Also I love it because it syncs with my cell phone and vibrates when I have a message. So there you have it. It's really great. <laughs> what I was doing and Bill can attest to this. Um, as I mentioned to you, we've downsized, but it's 14 steps down from the second floor where the offices are and it's of course 14 steps up it's also 14 steps down to the basement so I'd be working at my desk and I'd be saying Bill are you downstairs Bill go yeah I said okay can you bring me up uh, some water and it's no I when I've got this baby on what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those steps and I'm going to take them back up just like a Stairmaster and make sure that I'm utilizing what the functions are for this every single day. So starting today, I'm going to wear it every day. I'm going to get those steps and look at those steps. I'm going to be proud of 5,000. I'm going to be proud of 3,000, but you got to wear it or it's not going to work. So there you have it. You know, I could have gone on and on with this video, but I didn't want it to go hours longer. <laughs> Nobody would watch it. Um, things like healthy smoothies and how I really try to only eat desserts on weekends. And, you know, there's a lot of other ideas that you can do just to help you, you know, keep that weight down or at least maintained. And the other thing is, I'm wearing my Awesome Over, t awesome over 50 t-shirt and, uh, Right underneath this video, we have these uh, t-shirts. So if you want to kind of join me on this routine, I'd love to know, you know, how it's going for you in the comments. And uh, maybe what you do is you come home from work, you put on your awesome over 50 T and uh, you start dancing around the kitchen like a dancing fool. <laughs> so they say it takes 30 to 60 days to start to make um, a routine, a habit. And it generally works if that habit is easy peasy. You know, you don't have to put on your coat and get in the car and drive somewhere and do this and do that. You can sort of just do it at home or do it in your office. It's, it's, that's going to stick. And that's what you want. You want something that sticks. 
All right, so the other thing that I've done here is I have taken the before pictures of my, my bat wings and my tummy, and I'm going to do a follow-up video. Look for that. It'll probably be maybe in six or eight weeks, something like that. And I'm going to do the follow-up, and I'm going to show you that I was doing it, and it became a habit, and uh, that I saw some results. And why don't you, if you're watching this, maybe take a shot of your own tummy, just for yourself, of course, and let's see if we can work together and really make this happen. So Bill and I, and of course, the cuteness factor, little hurricane. <laughs> oh, we all want you to be healthy and happy and we really try hard to make the, well, we don't have to try. We keep it real here. I mean, who else goes in front of everybody showing her bad arms and all that and doing dancing around like a dancing fool? Well, it's moi. I do it, <laughs> but I do it for you. And uh, I hope that we're making you smile and we're giving you some inspiration, helping you be a little bit healthier. And uh, you know, the Friday videos that we do, we do the beauty, we do the fashion, we do some exercise. And then on Tuesdays, we got the food, we got the fun, we've got <laughs> all kinds of things for you. A little travel, a few jaunts that we go on and you're welcome to tag along on the videos. and. You know, we do it all for you. Hey, you know what else? I'm doing Instagram now. Every single day I put out, you know, something that I think people will like, all of our awesome ones out there. And all you have to do is just search Awesome Over 50 on Instagram and you'll find it. So until next time, I'm gonna keep doing this every single day, my routines and my exercise. I'm gonna get my heart rate going and move a little. And until next time, you know, do that crazy dancing fool dance, have some fun, work in a fun routine that you're going to stick to and keep it awesome. Everyone's invited to subscribe and join us on our videos.